Okay, so here's the situation. I've got a, um, a juvenile crow, crow fledgling, <clears throat> and he's got an injured wing. He's just over here, and you can see how he's holding his wing. Yeah, don't hop the fence. You see how he's holding his wing? It's, it's probably broken. Um, it looks like more than a sprain. Uh, I came by and checked it out. He doesn't have any actual, like, there's no wound. So um, it's probably just a broken wing. And I'm going to show how to wrap that up so that it will heal, you know, as best as it can. But with a, with a lot of birds with, you know, broken wings, they don't totally heal back to where they can actually um, fly again. Right, so they, they'll heal enough so that the wing will tuck back good. They might have a little muscle movement with their wing, you know, where they can open it up and kind of move it a bit. But, but flying is a whole different, a whole different thing, and you really need a perfect, a perfectly healthy wing to do that. So, uh, probably he's not going to fly again, but at least we'll we'll get his wing so that it's not dragging. Um, and that that means basically somebody has to make a long-term commitment to take care of him, right? Um, but for those of you that want to know how to heal a broken bird wing, this is how it's done. Okay, so first thing you want to do if you got a bird with a broken wing is you want to um, inspect the wing, hey? So they're not, they're not going to enjoy that, right? Just kind of look at the wing and, and feel along where the boat is. See if you can feel any breaks. Of course, if you identify any wounds, um, it's not a bad idea if you can to get an X-ray. There was a there was a crow that I picked up a couple of years ago that uh, something just didn't seem right. So um, myself and and a friend of mine, John Nightingale, we we took it to get an X-ray and it actually had a a pellet in it from a pellet gun, right? Um, so you never know what happened to them, especially if there's you know not a obvious wound like he got tagged by a car so this guy's kind of in that category not actually sure what happened to him but you know his wing is is definitely busted and i don't feel an obvious break but but it's uh it's probably busted in there right so so you look to see if you can find the break and if you can um if you can kind of set things set things straight if they're not and then if, it, if they have a wound on it, what I use is raw honey, and that came from my aunt, who's a longtime wildlife rehabilitator. Um, she, she swears by raw honey on the wound, and then you put a, a kind of a damp gauze on top of that, and then a dry gauze on top of that. The damp gauze so that when you, when you take it off, you know, it's not going to be peeling feathers and all that stuff off of there. Um, once you have it, you know, bandaged if it needs to be bandaged uh, with the gauze the next step is to uh, wrap the wing itself so that it's so that it's in the tucked position and the way that you do that you buy a self-adhesive um, self-adhesive bandaging this stuff sticks to itself but it doesn't stick to the bird right and uh, this can be bought at you know any any pharmacy that's that's decent got a decent selection small pharmacies are not going to carry it most likely it's in the first aid aisle um, but a large pharmacy should so what you're going to use is a is a x wrap technique and i take that i take that thick roll and i get a good strip off of it and uh, i cut the strip in half so that there's two pieces And the strip is doesn't really have to be this long. I'm probably going to end up trimming some of this off, but uh, it's better to have it a little longer than short as you're as you're working it. Um, it's going to, be, going to be two things. We're going to wrap the the wing itself with an X uh, wrap, just so that it's in the tuck position. And then we're going to take the other strip and we're going to wrap that that wing to his body so that he can't move it away from his body. So I'll get it. I'll get it started here, and then I'll show you what it looks like when you have it um, wrapped with that with that X. So I usually start 
you want to get tucked under his shoulder, or it's really his, um, his elbow, but it looks like his shoulder to us because it's up by his head, right? Um, so I usually start there, and then, and then go under, you know, what you might, you might consider the armpit. So I'll kind of show you what this looks like. Like so, hey? Continue. You're making an X, so then you go back up toward the shoulder in the opposite direction. Shoulder slash elbow. You go back around that elbow again. You don't want to put it like super duper tight. The main thing is you just want his, his wing to be isolated so he's not opening it and, uh, and closing it, right? It's got to be it's got to be somewhat tight but not too tight. Too tight, cut off the blood circulation. He gets he's going to be uncomfortable anyway, but you can make him really uncomfortable and um, and actually, you know, contribute to further injuries and stuff. Show you what it looks like now. He's got that X shape. And actually, I think this piece of tape is going to be just the right size for, for this. And yeah, this, this self-adhesive tape is really good. It, it does just, it sticks to itself really good, but it doesn't, um, doesn't stick to the feather. So when you go to cut it off, it comes off pretty easy. All right, so I've got it all wrapped in the X. Okay, so his wing is, he's not going to be able to open it at this point, right? So now what you want to do is you want to wrap that wing to the body um, in the position that it would normally normally be on his body. So you're going you're gonna to go over the top of his back um, and around his belly with the next piece. You have to get underneath that that armpit of the neighboring wing, hey? I know, I know. It's so rude what I'm doing, huh? Ah. Yeah. Ah. This one, ah. this one, you especially ah. don't want to wrap too tight. It's got to be firm but not too tight because this is going to, this is, if you put it too tight, this is going to have an effect on his lungs and his breathing and all that stuff, right? So I'm just going to, I'm going to continue to wrap it around and then I'll show you what it looks like when it's, when it's all set up here. Try to keep as many feathers out of being in between the bandage as you can. I know, it's very awkward. Grab, grab that finger. Grab this one. Grab this one. <laughs> So this is what it looks like, hey? It's around his belly, under the under the other wing, around his back, and you want, of course, the end to be in a position where he's not going to be easily grabbing it and tearing it off, because he is going to pick at it. There might be, you know, a week or so down the line, or two weeks down the line, you might have to replace the bandage, the wrap, because he's he's torn it up and stuff he's not going to want this on him but he needs to keep it on him for for six to eight weeks just like any broken bone that a human has um, and then when you take it off 
his his wing is going to be stiff for a while. It's going to be in that in that uh, position, you know, tucked on his back where it should be instead of dragging down. Um, but he's he's going to take a little while before he's able to start using it, start uh, using his muscles at all and opening it back up. For a while, it's just going to be just going to be kind of glued to his side, glued to his back after the bandages are off. Um, like I said at the beginning, though. Don't expect him to fly again, but um, but it will at least not drag on the ground, and he might have a little bit of muscular use for it. You know, sometimes um, sometimes they'll be able to fly very short distances, five or six feet, you know, across a room or that kind of thing. Um, I've never had a crow with a broken wing have the wing totally heal back to be able to fly. I have had magpies, however. There's something something about magpies. They got some. Uh, they got some internal medicine going on, and for some reason, those birds are the only ones with the with broken wings that I've been able to heal them back to where they can actually fly and be released again. Um, depending on the species, you know, if you take a bird in like this, you're in for a, a commitment. A crow, you're talking 20 plus years. The crow that's lived the longest in captivity lived 52 years, so it can be a it can be a big commitment. <laughs> um, Anyway, that is how to wrap a, a bird's wing if it's broken and uh, heal it up. Like I said, leave it on six to eight weeks. Uh, if, he, if he's tearing it off, cut it off and put a new one. If it, if it looks like it needs to be replaced, uh, especially if he's got a wound, you know, halfway through, about week four, take it off and put m new honey on it and rewrap everything. And just like, you know, just like a human with, a, with an injury, right? Same deal. You want to keep everything clean and keep it in good order. So, hope that helps.